Hi everyone, Jordan Abney here, Executive Director of BC School Sports. Welcome back, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a restful break uh, and uh, enjoyed some time with your friends and family and are uh, ready for uh, all that 2019 has. So this is our January update and uh, as I always say, we'll try and keep it short, but this month we actually will keep it short. So getting right to it, uh, we're in the middle of our winter season of play, as you all know. Uh, the team deadline has passed, so hopefully you have uh, met minimum numbers, put your coach in there, uh, and so forth. But the next deadline is the roster deadline. So all rosters for the winter season of play must be fully into stars on January 23rd. Again, that's the winter season of play roster deadline on January 23rd. Uh, so you got a couple weeks, make sure you're talking to your coaches, uh, get what you have into stars, make sure they verify that, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see a, a big drop in uh, missed uh, registrations this year. Next thing, the Sport Leadership Conference, which is a, uh, led by uh, Volleyball BC, but it's kind of uh, partnered with a bunch of different organizations of which we are one of. Uh, it's a great conference, it's hosted January 19th, it's a one day event at Douglas College. Uh, here at the coast. Um, so there's some really great speakers, everything from motivation, sports science, uh, multi, it's all multi-sport in nature, so it's not specific to a single sport. If you want more information uh, or you want to register, go to bcsportconference.ca. Uh, I know it's a great event and I recommend that if you do have the time and the ability and, uh, and you want to share this with your coaches as well, obviously, uh, but if, you, if you're interested, please do check out the website to see uh, what uh, will be happening uh, on January 19th. Next reminder, awards and scholarships. Uh, make sure you're communicating this with your uh, administration and counseling teams as well for those that deal with scholarships. The scholarship information has been posted to the BC School Sport website uh, as well as the awards information. We are really trying to um, kind of bring our awards back and, and feature uh, the people that make school sport wonderful in this province. Uh, so take a look at the criteria, the nomination forms are all there. Uh, if you have a deserving recipient uh, in your school, please don't hesitate to uh, speak to your administrator or you as an athletic director, put forward a nomination for uh, somebody in your school or in your community. Two more things, the BC School of Sports AGM. The dates are April 26th and April 27th. It will be hosted in Kelowna this year. Uh, so make sure you block those days off so that you can be in attendance. We hope to see as many people there as possible. So April 26th, 27th in Kelowna. Uh, if you're, the first package was sent out. We are working on booking hotel rooms for everyone. So once you know you are going to attend, please RSVP by emailing info at bcschoolsports.ca. Again, April 26th, 27th, email info at bcschoolsports.ca to confirm. Lastly, we are uh, gonna have a staffing change here shortly in the BC School of Sports office. Uh, many of you know Marilla Thorpe, who has been the financial officer for about six years. Uh, Marilla is riding off into the sunset for her retirement here shortly. Um, so she's in her last couple weeks. Uh, her last day is January 18th. So you'll see a change there. We were lucky enough to hire Jeff Chung, uh, who will be taking over as the manager of finance and grants. Jeff uh, has his CPA or, or professional accountant designation, as well as an MBA from UBC. So we're very lucky to have him. He started with us in mid-December and, and we we're working on transferring all the knowledge and systems over to him right now. Uh, but you can expect to see a, a new name and new face in your inboxes uh, from Jeff here as he transitions into the role. And of course, we wish Marilla all the very best as she uh, transitions to her retirement. Um, and we thank her for her great service to BC School Sports. So if you know her personally and have dealt with her, please do send her an email or reach out to her uh, before the 18th, which is her last day. That's it for this month, we'll keep it short. If you have any topics you want us to cover or questions you think that would be good for us to clarify, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Otherwise, good luck to all the teams in their winter seasons and we'll see you in February. Take care.